let's go to the president mm. because he has dismissed claims that he has been shielding corrupt officials in his government. Now, the president who was speaking at the Ghana Bar Conference uh, in Takradi said that the tag of corruption which is being stuck on him would not hold. President Nana Akufuado's statement on corruption at the Bar Association's annual general meeting conference was highly anticipated following initial press statement issued by the Information Ministry and the numerous corruption allegations that has engulfed the government in the last three years. Speaking on the team, enhancing national security through the rule of law, prospects and challenges, President Akufuado started with the defense of his government being branded as corrupt. It cannot be the case that people are condemned on the basis of mere allegations without more. That is the law of the jungle. I'm aware of the orchestrated attempts by my opponents to hang the tag of corruption on the necks of my government and myself, despite all the manifest efforts being made to deal with the phenomenon of corruption. I just have one simple answer for them. It will not work. I did not come into public life enrich myself. So far, every single alleged act of corruption alleged, leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as SHRAD, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. The Jaseheni of Gomwa Akramang in the Gomwa East District of the Central Region has been shot dead in a suspected reprisal attack incident. Now, the incident happened this morning at Tipa Junction in Akramang. The Central Regional Police Public Relations Officer, DSP Irene Opon, says the Kaswa Divisional Police Command received a distress call from Gomwa Akramang about the incident and responded. She says, Nana Ijuri Ahod, the first was attacked by a mob from the Akraman community after he allegedly shot and injured someone in the community on Sunday evening. Brother of the deceased spoke to City News. My bad, my everyone say what the blog Abu Bunitim. When the most follow blood nan and Kunso, when we will feed you all. Name who blood and we know more than what you should name. Nana Cassin, now I say. Was any kind of fence or in our way, Bubu, no dinosaur was CB. If they but one hour and you won't be up to me. I'm son of Pierre Media and a piano mean a picture. So welcome, my blounds, my bread, my bias, no, it's true. For me, the blog, Nebubo, Nitin, into Nitin, net queen, I say. Now let's move on to education because the usual struggles and challenges that characterize the computerized school selection and placement system into senior high schools are here again despite efforts by the Ghana Education Service to address them. Now it appears that not even the setting up of a solution center nationwide by the Ghana Education Service is eliminating the problem entirely as some parents say the awards are yet to be offered placements into senior high schools. We have more in this report. Admissions into senior high schools used to be manual for many years until it was compulsorily computerized by the GES to do away with the problems that were associated with the manual selection. But the new system has had its own challenges too. Candidates who passed the 2019 Basic Education Certificate Examination, BCE, have been placed into various technical, vocational and senior high schools by the GES through the computerized school selection and placement system. Candidates with successful placements are expected to purchase a voucher from vendors or do so via mobile money and log on to cssps.gov.gh or cssps.org. But some parents say the process has been frustrating. Now in the Ashanti region, some junior high school leavers who have checked their placements into senior high schools are struggling at internet cafes due to system failure. The students, some of whom had traveled long distances to the centers, spoke to City News. They just inform us that the network is not all that good, so we should wait for it. Uh, I expected that maybe, but at least in five minutes' time, 
then the school placements maybe is ready. But when I came, since I came, I've been waiting. But the debt work is not that good. The minority has been touring some abandoned projects there. If you remember, City FM has been heavy Indeed. on the issue about mm. abandoned projects. And um, this morning, the minority toured some abandoned projects in the Ashanti region. We we'll go to Duke um, um, yes, Mensah Okoku. Mm. He joined the minority there, and this is what he reported. In 2018, uh, City FM and its partners, Occupy Ghana, petitioned the presidency about the state of some abandoned hospital projects in the country. In the Ashanti region was the Tepa Hospital, and also amongst them was also the Kumau Hospital. Now, the Kumau Hospital is part of a list of some hospital projects across the country, including that of Dodoa, that of Abetifi, and others where government was able to secure some funding of some $175 million in 2015 for these hospitals to commence across the country. But since September last year, this particular project has not seen any improvement and it has stalled. To describe what has gone on here, the project side is overgrown with weeds. There are some facilities that are almost about, from my estimation, about 60% complete. Others have also left untouched. Nothing has been done to them. Uh, all you can see predominantly in this facility that is supposed to have been progressing and would have been completed by January 2019 per the original project schedule has been uh, abandoned. Now the minority in parliament uh, on the health committee is going around some of these facilities including Kumewu. They would also go to Fomena Tepa in the Ashanti region to assess the state of this project and why they've been left and have been abandoned um, in this light. 